ready to go fly to the mountains of Tennessee and camp for three nights. This guy is. Alright, welcome aboard everybody. We just leveled off at 31,000 feet, flight level 310. We are on an IFR flight today from Miami, Florida, up to Tri-City, which is in the northeast section of Tennessee. We just, uh, we're right here in the middle of the screen, we just departed a very stormy South Florida. Coming up on Orlando, and that should be the uh, end of the uh, bad weather for us. Should be a nice smooth flight the rest of the way up. It really wasn't too bumpy. Uh, we picked our way through the storm, so it was pretty smooth for the most part. As you can see, we're at 31,000 feet, which is also set in our altitude selector. 2992, set up in the altimeter. Once you go above 18,000 feet, that's when it becomes flight levels. And everybody will be on 2992 above 18,000 feet, which is flight level 180. Something a little bit different in my uh, the cockpit today. I have an iPad. For the first time ever, I'm going to be trying out electronic charts and approach plates and everything, and having uh, the iPad. I have the 30-day free trial of four flight, so we'll see how this goes. As anybody that's watched my previous uh, videos, you would have seen that I always like paper charts. I do have still as a backup today. I'm pretty excited to see how four flight works and all the electronic charts. When you can make that turn to Craig, let me know. Roger, we'll go direct Craig at this time. One tango Bravo. One tango Bravo. Roger, when you roll out direct Craig, let me know what your magnetic heading is, please. Roger, I'll tell you that. Just one second. All right, so we're giving direct Craig. And he wants to know our magnetic Miami, heading uh, once we the get on course to Craig. It's actually not too often when you're flying IFR that they'll ask you for magnetic heading. So we just got direct to Craig. So what Miami wants to know is our magnetic heading now that we're direct Craig. We'll look up here at the magnetic compass here. And we're right at a 010 heading. So that's what we're going to we'll let them know right now. I mean, November 851 Tango Bravo, our magnetic heading to Craig is 010. I'm sorry, who is that? Hey, Miami, that's November 851 Tango Bravo. We're, our magnetic heading to Craig is 010. 010, thank you very much. So with the iPad here, we'll uh, go to the TBM Torque app. Yeah, All right, so as you guys can see a little close up of this app, right TBM now, Torque app, right we got negative 26, play a little 310, we can set the torque for 91%. So we come over here. We have the uh, torques at the 80%. Right now we're running the prop rate at 2,000 RPM. We're doing 822 on the ITT. And the NG is just under, looks like about 98%. Oil temps and pressures are both looking good in the green. So what we're going to do is we're going to cruise the plane out just for uh, the noise level. We're going to pull the uh, prop RPM back to 1,900 is what I'm going to do. We're going to come down here. We're going to pull the blue uh, prop RPM lever back. So as we pull this back, pulling it back, you're going to see the prop RPM up here drop. And uh, we'll put it right at about 1900. There we go. So even though the torque on the TVM app says we can run it to 91, I'm going to be nice to the engine. And we're just going to run it at about 85, and which will put us on the ITT of about 822. 
Uh, as you guys can see out in front of us, uh, the rest of our route looks nice and clear. Nice smooth ride. It's a great day to be flying airplanes. Twenty-seven forty-seven one Tango Bravo. How good day. Jacks, good afternoon. November eight five one Tango Bravo two three one zero direct track. Number eight five one Tango Bravo Jackson. All right, guys. So let's check out this four flight app and see what it's all about. This is uh, our routing today. Uh, we had the heavy transition out of Miami, and then we went direct to Orlando. We're now currently direct Craig, and we go up to Spartanburg, and then into Tri City. Airport, which is in the northeastern part of Tennessee. That'll be our destination. So let's check out the airports here. This is the Tri-City Airport that we're going to. It's pretty cool. We've got all these cool features. Uh, you can check out the frequencies. As you can see, we've got the weather. Whether we uh, are correct, showing Duncan. the winds out of the east at 5 knots, 10 mile visibility, is few at 25,000 feet. Altimeter setting at 3022. So it looks like a really nice day up there in east northeastern Tennessee. So 20, check it on 20 and a half you can also check out, let's see here, 20 20 20 we got 20 runways. 20 20 20 so we're going to basically 20 20 plan for runway 5. 20 it's going to be an 8,000 foot runway uh, by 150 feet wide. Good asphalt. It shows you all about what the uh, runway is like. And we got the procedures. We got all the airport. We can look, check out the diagram. Look at that, guys. Just a little tap of the button. Diagram comes up. I like that feature. And then you got all the four flight diagram if you want that. And then look at this, all your approaches. So if we were going to Shoot an approach. 16, just tap on one, the ILS two, six, localizer, five, runway five, four, two, six, three, five right, and six, we have our nice approach chart. So, so I know I said in the past that I I really love paper charts due to the reliability that this battery is never going to run out. But I'll tell you right now, I really am enjoying this uh, setup of four flight with the convenience of you always have to flip through all the books to find your charts, and uh, it's pretty quick and accessible. What's cool is you can save your favorite airports. Right now I've got Tri-City in there, I've got Albany, Georgia, Fernandina Beach, and Opelika. So you can put in your favorites. So right now we have loaded the IFR high altitude map. You can also choose all the other types of maps that you want. You can do uh, IFR low, EFR sectional, aerial maps, street maps, train maps, world map. you got all the cool maps, which is pretty cool. So yeah, for flight, I... Uh, I, I think I'm going to enjoy using this. I got the uh, free 30-day trial. We'll see how it goes. And I, I, I guess there's a lot of other different features, too, that I have not uh, yet explored. But as you guys can see, I am also not wearing my Bose headset today. I'm wearing the Faro Air in-ear headset. It's actually really comfortable. It's nice. You don't get the headset hair. And uh, it's, it's very lightweight. I think it's like oh, just run for an ounce is all it weighs. What I'm going to be doing in a week from now on my Patreon campaign, uh, I'm going to be posting a link for the uh, Faro Air headset giveaway. I'm going to be giving it away to one of you guys that supports the channel. And it's a real nice headset. So my GoFlight sent me a bunch of cool mounts to uh, for the mount your iPads, the different right, American 15, GoPro cameras that you want to mount. They sent me a bunch of stuff. So after I get done with the Faro giveaway, I'm going to be doing a my GoFlight giveaway. Banyan Pilot Shop at Fort Lauderdale Executive. If you guys want to stop in there, they're actually doing a deal with the my GoFlight products. If you stop in there, I'm going to link the uh, the discount that they're giving below in the description. Be sure to check that out. And if you're in the Fort Lauderdale area, uh, stop by Banyan Pilot Shop and you'll get some good deals on some good mounts and different products from my Grow Flight. 351 Tango Bravo, contact Tri-Cities Approach, 134.42, good day. 134.42, 851 Tango Bravo. Tri-City Approach, good afternoon. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, do you 193 for 11,000? We have information pop up. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, Tri City Approach, altimeter 3020, expect lower in 15 miles. Oh, Roger. Yeah, the airport elevation here is 1,518 feet MSO. Pattern, if you're to pattern altitude, will be is 2,700 feet MSO. 
We had to, on the route today, we did have a couple storms we had to just deviate around. Uh, during the summer, you know, the storms really blossom pretty quick out here, so. But overall, it's... Airport information, Quebec is now current. Wind 3603. Visibility 10, a few clouds at 5,500. Temperature 32, 2.17. Trust field altimeter 3020. Arriving departing runway 23. All right, new information just came up. The information is they broadcast it every hour uh, just to give you current information of what the airport conditions are. So it went from Papa to Quebec. And we're not going to go get the information because he basically told us right uh, over the radio what it was. We've got some bumps just from this little storm right next to us here. TBM 1, Tango Bravo, traffic 11, moving to 12 o'clock, 3 miles eastbound. Altitude indicates 1, 1,000 climbing. Roger, we're going to be looking for him. 1, Tango Bravo, thanks for heads up. All right, so traffic is over here at 11 o'clock. We're going down to 1, 1,000, and he is at that altitude, so we're going to keep an eye out for him. I don't see him on the TCAS yet. Good morning, Tango Bravo, traffic will be no factor. Roger, thanks. All right, so the traffic will be no factor. Hopefully we'll get some mountain views out of the ending of this flight. That'd be nice. Starting to get some good views of some of the hills and mountains off the left here. I don't know if you guys, you probably guys are probably going to be able to see it with the cameras. This is my first time coming into Tri-City, Tennessee. Right now we're just on the border of North Carolina and about to enter into Tennessee. We'll slow it up under 200 knots, and we're just about there, and we'll turn on our inertial separator. One thing I liked about the brand new TBM 930 that I flew a week or two ago is uh, it doesn't, one tango doesn't have that limitation. 20 degrees right, vector visual approach, turn right, 23. 20 right for the visual for 23, one tango bravo. Never one tango bravo, descend and maintain 6,000. Uh, 6,000, one tango bravo. We're going to go right by this cloud right here. We'll just go right next to it. Always fun flying around the clouds. Right on by we go. Alright, let's look for our airport out here. Since I've never been here, I guess we should probably do that. 17 miles off to our 11 o'clock here. I believe I have it in sight, but we're not gonna admit, tell them we have it in sight until we're for sure. Everyone, Tango Bravo, the Tri-City Airport, 11 o'clock and about uh, one five miles. Roger, uh, I believe I have it in sight, but uh, just give me one more minute. Everyone, Tango Bravo, Roger, just let me know for sure. Approach 851 Tango Bravo, we do have Tri-City Airport in sight. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, cleared visual approach, left base for 923. Clear for the visual, left base for 23 for 851 Tango Bravo, thank you. Alright, we'll disconnect the autopilot. And I'm just going to re engage the yaw dampener for passenger comfort. And we'll have a little fun and hand fly this in. So yeah, we did go over some mountains. Uh, I don't think the cameras really picked them up too well, but it was really a nice sight for me. It looks like Tri City Airport here is just on the uh, northwest side of the. Uh, Appalachian Mountain Range. Everyone, Tango Bravo, contact Tower 119.5. You'll see uh, traffic just north of the uh, final approach course above you, no factor. Okay, Roger, thanks for the heads up. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll be going over to Tower for 851 Tango Bravo. You too. Good afternoon, Tri-City Tower. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, 6 to the southeast, inbound on the visual for 2-3. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, Tri-City Tower, wind 300 at 4, runway 2-3, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 2-3, thank you, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, we've been cleared to land for only two, three. Gear down, and even though we have it selected, we'll watch and make sure we get our three green down there. And we're good to go. We're losing a lot of altitude here. Oh, it looks beautiful down there. I got all kinds of rivers and lakes. A whole different scenery compared to flying in the South Florida and the Bahamas where I usually fly. I like getting up here into the mountains. Right now we're on a three mile left base for only two, three. I'm gonna slow it up a little bit more here and we'll get our landing flaps in. It's a beautiful area. Really impressed with this area. I'll be up here uh, camping for three nights. It's gonna be a lot of fun. 
Alright, well we're in our speed range for full laps. And we've got it selected and watching it go to indicated. We're gonna get a motocross track right down here below us. Everybody, if you follow me, you know I do like motocross. Nice. Alright, so here we go. We got 2 3. We're turning a mile and a half left base to final. 500. Looking good. We're right at the airspeed I want to be at. And Looking real good on the uh, Pappy. Right on our uh, glide path. The uh, go around set up in for the approach, that was it right there if we were shooting the ILS. That's where we would have had to go around. Alright, we're going to go back to flight idle. See you guys. Get off at Yankee here. PBM 1 Tango Bravo, turn right at Yankee, contact ground point 7. Right on Yankee, I'll be going over to ground. Have a good day. 851 Tango Bravo. City ground. Good afternoon, November 851 Tango Bravo, clearing 2-3 on Yankee, need to go over to the FBO. TVM 1 Tango Bravo, Tri City Ground, taxi Alpha to the north ramp, cross runway 2-7 at Alpha. Roger, Alpha, cross 2-7 to the north ramp, 851 Tango Bravo, thanks. Alright, that was about a, let's see, what was our flight time on that flight? We were at, uh, it showed 2 hours and 35 minutes from Miami up to Tri-City, Tennessee. Hope you guys enjoyed that flight. This week I'll be at Oshkosh. Uh, I'm going to be having a meetup at the TBM display Saturday, July 30th at noon, so if you're up there be sure to stop by and say hi and see the TBM 930. Also I'll be linking uh, the, in the description for Banyan. If you guys are going to be in South Florida, stop by the pilot shop and they're going to be giving off discounts on all the MyGo flight products. And stay tuned this next week on my Patreon campaign where I'll be uh, putting up the uh, headset giveaway post. And all you gotta do is comment on the post and uh, it'll be entered into the drawing. Big thanks for Farah for doing these headset giveaways. And also for my Go Flight, I'll be doing a, a cool flight bag and a bunch of mounts for uh, next month's giveaway. Alright, we got our marshallers out here. We'll follow their direction into the parking spot that they want us to go to. Guys, it was awesome uh, having you guys on board. Hope you guys enjoyed the flight. I know it was a pleasure uh, having you guys with us. Uh, if you liked the uh, video, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Always appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you guys someday soon. Take care. You are clear to <laughs> open. How the hell do you do that? <laughs>
Yeah.